Thanks, everybody, uh, for listening to the Capri story. And uh, again, thanks very much to the RIU crew for putting on another uh, great conference. So, a quick snapshot, uh, high level, why invest in Caprice? Fantastic quality projects. Um, Northampton, polymetallic, high grades, major land position, and we're looking at some new mineralisation concepts. The Murchison, gold focused, strategic location, fantastic neighbourhood, and highly, highly prospective. Um, in terms of risk reward, outstanding opportunity, highly leveraged to exploration success with high impact drilling uh, in the near future and as well as some good quality news flow. And finally, management very much aligned to success. We are 20% of the board, uh, sorry, the board has 20% of the company, um, long-term holders, experienced team. Corporately, um, look like most of us in the junior end of town, the share price hasn't been that good. Um, however, we can't really worry too much about the macro environment. We need to keep on doing what we're doing. Um, focus on what we can control, and that's doing good quality exploration on our ground. Um, a little bit unusual for a, a junior like us that's been listed for about four years. We've still only got 80 odd million shares on issue, so it's a nice tight um, structure. However, as you can see there, relating to the, the risk reward, we've got an EV of about $3 million, so a um, little bit of exploration success, and, and that'll shoot up pretty quickly. In terms of board and management, um, got a pretty good mix of, of grey hair, legal experience, technical, corporate and boots on ground. And probably the most important person on the page there is Chris Orshot. He's the, the brains behind uh, the operation in terms of our, uh, geology and um, strategy on the ground. So overview of our assets, we've got the Northampton Polymetallic Project. Um, it's, as I said, it's polymetallic, it's a historic high grade mineral field. Um, had about 120-odd uh, years of production of, of base metals, um, but there's been minimal exploration in the last 50 years. And then there's the Murchison Gold Projects. As I said, strategic location, high grades, um, good infrastructure, and we've got processing plants nearby. Zooming in a bit onto Northampton. So it's a large project, uh, almost 1,200 square k's. Um, the area is a historic high-grade mining centre. Um, over 100 high-grade um, massive sulphide deposits were mined between the 1850s and, and 1970s. Um, some good quality lead, copper, zinc and silver there. 75% um, of the mines were actually focused on lead. However, a lot of them actually stopped when they got to the copper-rich zones. Um, we initially had the areas in red that you can see there, um, the historic mining areas. Um, but after a strategic review, we decided to, to bolt on um, the other tenements. And interestingly, uh, up until about a year ago when we acquired all of this, um, all this ground around us was open. So we basically went out and, and pegged it. And at the very south, we, we um, purchased the Yungaro tenements. So the area, we think, is, is highly, highly prospective. Um, the historic mines uh, stuck out at surface. Um, so they're obviously pretty easy to find. Um, as I said, we expanded the project in 2021 um, following sort of a, a project review and where the other areas of potential could be because having those two small um, initial areas was quite good but we think, uh, we recognise that um, we need a little bit more scale and we need a bigger footprint and also the last thing we wanted to do was, was go in there and put some drill holes in, um, get some good grades and then find out that the peers came in and, and basically snapped up all the ground. So we're very much conscious of being... Uh, first movers in this part of the world, make sure we get our uh, foothold on the ground and then start with steady and systematic exploration. As you can see there in 2020 we did some uh, RC drilling at the Wheel Fortune Prospect and returned some pretty good grades um, including 5 metres at 17% lead and as well as 12, 12 metres at 3% copper so um, some pretty good grades. So in terms of what are we doing there, um, it is in farming country um, which uh, has probably been a detriment to uh, historical exploration. That's probably why there hasn't been much exploration in the past 50 years. However, we see that as an opportunity. Um, because there hasn't been much work done, um, we basically can get in there and um, review all the data and basically get boots on ground and, and really start to work up some of the concepts that have never really been looked at. So the first part of that is obviously putting access agreements in place. So we've got an access agreement now 
um, with a pastoralist over the Yungaro project. And we'll be looking at doing uh, drilling there. Uh, we were planning to do that early um, December, but due to uh, delays in the department, that'll probably be pushed out to early uh, 23 now. Um, we've just completed some uh, detailed um, aeromagnetics, um, and they've given us some really interesting um, insights into the structures, and I'll, you'll see a, a nice pretty picture over page. Um, the other aspect about um, Northampton that's been really um, significantly underdone um, is that the area is known to host a lot of uh, pegmatites. There's a lot of good granite source rocks there. Um, so we've undertaken a regional prospectivity analysis um, for battery metals and, and rare metals. Um, and significantly no work's been done on this in the past. So I was up there a couple of weeks ago sampling pegmatites. Um, so we'll be, we've put those into the labs uh, last week, so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with um, in roughly about a month's time. So um, definitely something a little bit out of left field. Um, but as I said, the, the more we look at Northampton, the, the better it gets. So just uh, zooming in and, uh, and touching on the air mag that I just mentioned. So we basically got this data late last week. So um, this is the raw data, hasn't been processed um, as yet. Um, you can see the central uh, picture is the original sort of core spaced um, air mag and on the left and the right there, there are two areas that we've recently flown. Um, and it's really, really highlighted some uh, interesting features that we hadn't really looked at before. So um, we'll get this um, processed and, and do uh, an interp on it, but it's showed up a lot of structures and a lot of... Um, very uh, intriguing features that we hadn't really looked at before. So there's a lot more work to do. And as I said, the more we look at Northampton, um, the more intrigued and interested in the geology that we get. We, we think it's got some potential for quite a broad range of, of different uh, minerals. On to Murchison, uh, Murchison Gold Projects. Uh, fantastic location, proven gold district. Um, over 15 million ounces been mined in this part of the world. Uh, great infrastructure with your uh, West Gold and uh, Romilius' plants, both within trucking distance. Um, we've got the Great Northern Highway going through the Island Gold Project. Um, and we're also surrounded by some, some pretty good neighbours. We've got Musgrave Minerals and the Evolution JV wrapping us on three sides. Um, yet, ironically, the, the three projects we've got are, are relatively underexplored, particularly given their location. Zooming a little bit further onto the Island Gold Project, um, so whilst um, there's been historic small-scale high-grade mining on the island that you can see in the, the red dots, um, we acquired this about uh, two years ago uh, and the historic work had really focused on those, um, the high-grade mining. Uh, we call that the island because it effectively is an island. It sticks out of a salt lake called Lake Austin um, and that has pretty much seen 100% uh, of exploration effort um, up until the start of this year. Um, lake Austin, or the, the lake area that we, that we have, that covers the remaining 75%. Um, and we stepped off the island for the first time this year and um, focused in on the Solace Prospect. So over the past roughly 18 months, we've done about 20,000 metres of, of drilling um, on the island, uh, both Air Corps and RC, um, and it's really uh, turned out some pretty good numbers. Zooming into Solace, so... Um, this was the very first time that, that anyone had stepped off the island and, and done any work. This is to the, the southern extent, or southern end of um, the Island Gold Project. It's a, on the fringes of, of Lake Austin. We, couldn't, we were looking to get a, a lake rig to um, traverse the lake surface. However, they were very difficult to come by. So we pivoted and used a, a land-based air core rig and did a series of traverses, um, roughly 400 metre line spaced, um, just to see what, what this looked like. Um, we didn't know what the geology was, we didn't know what the, if there was any mineralisation there. We had a pretty good feeling that there were structures there based on the ground gravity that we'd done. Um, so that very first pass program came up with a, a gold anomaly over a kilometre long, uh, which was a, a fantastic result, um, given that it had never been drilled before, uh, the size of the anomaly, and also um, was proof of concept that there's gold that um, exists that isn't actually on the island, so we're, we're pretty pleased with that. We followed that up with uh, two RC programs, uh, 28 holes for just under 3,000 metres. Um, got some really good grades and widths, um, highlights being four at 4.4 and 
which included one metre 11, and uh, four at 3.4, which included two metres at 6.4. Again, we've only done two small RC programs, so fantastic results um, and definitely more work to do there. Uh, the other drilling that we did uh, prior to SOLAS, we um, did a couple of RC programs on the island itself. We were following up um, some of the historic work, but also testing uh, some of the large uh, BIFs that uh, the mineralisation is associated with, and we got a number of uh, good quality results there. Obviously, the highlight being 10 at 16, uh, as well as 9 at 4.7, etc. So there's more work to do there in time. Uh, the other thing to note is most of the drilling's been relatively shallow and with an average depth of, of just under 100 metres, so more work to do there um, in due course. We also acquired the Cutting Warren Big Bell South roughly uh, 12 months ago. It's an 80-20 JV with Golden State Mining. Um, geology and structures uh, look really, really good. Um, Cutting Warren, it's close to the Cutting Warren Shear, uh, really good um, structural environment. And Big Bell South, it's an interpreted extension of the structures and greenstone belt that hold the, the Big Bell deposit. Um, likewise, uh, had largely minimal exploration, so we'll probably go in there and do some soil sampling um, and some air core, as well as probably some, some ground-based geophysics once we can get access. Uh, just zooming in again on a little bit more on the cutting wire, uh, just highlighting the, the complexity of the geology and all the targets that we've identified so that's us in uh, simplistically uh, exploring on all fronts, um, Northampton polymetallic project, um, historic high grade base metals, great land position. We've got some really interesting new mineralisation concepts and we'll be drilling there soon. And then there's the rare metals as um, assessment. As I said, there's been no work done on that. Really, really interesting to see what the samples that I collected um, last week come up with and also what the new um, air mag data shows up. Uh, both structurally but also with uh, radiometrics, etc. Um, Murchison Gold, great location, outstanding neighbourhood, highly prospective, and we've been drilling uh, a fair bit over there over the past sort of 18 months and we'll be back there again at some point. So again, risk reward, largely at shell value, pretty minimal downside from where we are, but substantial upside um, based on the, the work that we're doing um, and the quality of the ground that we've got. Um, and of course, like any company, we're assessing new projects. We're, we recognise we probably need to diversify the current commodity suite. Um, so we're actively reviewing projects, but as long as it makes sense and there's geological credibility um, associated with them, so, so watch this space. So that's us. If you want to come and have a chat to myself or Chris, we're at booth uh, 39. Uh, I'll be around for the next couple of days. Look forward to talking to you.